birthday to me. Let's talk about IoT. Hello there, everyone. Welcome to episode number 594 of this here electronic engineering podcast called Amelia's Weekly Fish Fry, brought to you by eejournal.com and written, produced, and hosted by yours truly, Amelia Dalton. That's right, IoT is the name of the game this week, my friends. My guest is Particle CEO Zach Supala. Zach and I chat about Particle's IoT platform as a service, the details of their new powerful 5G single board computer with AI Accelerator Kickstarter campaign, and how Particle can help you get your next IoT design design out into the real world. So without further ado, please welcome Zach to Fish Fry. Hi, Zach. Thank you so much for joining me. Thanks for having me. Sure thing. So Zach, for my audience who may not know, what is Particle all about? So Particle is an edge to cloud IoT infrastructure. Simplest way to think about it is we provide the technology to companies who want to build IoT products, everything from the embedded software that runs on the device, the connectivity and networking in between, that includes SIM cards and data plans for cellular products and satellite connected products, and the cloud the device connect to. We do security, reliability, everything that is under the hood of the IoT product. So not the things the end user would touch, but everything that makes the product work. Okay. I was really interested in your particle platform as a service. So what was the motivation to create this platform and what all does it include? I started the company about 10 or 11 years ago. And when we started, it was the very early days of the modern phase of the Internet of Things. So, you know, not M to M or the stuff that it was prior, but the sort of current generation of the field. And what we saw was there are a lot of companies trying to build some kind of IoT product. This is like right after Nest, right? So Nest launched and everybody wanted to do some kind of a connected thing. A lot of folks wanted to build something like that, but the technology necessary to build that kind of a product is very complex. And I think one of the things that is particularly hard about building these kinds of products is it's not like there's just one kind of complexity, one thing you have to be good at. You have to be good at a lot of things. So you have to deal with embedded systems, you have to deal with networking and connectivity. You have to deal with working with cellular operators and SIM cards and data plans. You have to deal with cloud services, security, reliable messaging. There's a thousand different technology problems. First off, that leads to very long development times, very long development cycles. Often products end up never getting to market because it takes too long and too much money to build them. And in particular, a lot of the businesses who are trying to build that kind of a product are maybe more traditional manufacturing businesses where those are not their areas of expertise. And so what we wanted to do was try to say, how can we make this as easy as possible? And it turns out that making it as easy as possible means building a lot of things. So the scope of our platform is very broad, and we just want to make the customer's life as easy as possible so they can spend less time working on infrastructure and more time working on whatever the product is that they're trying to build and the value they want to deliver to their customers. So, Zach, one of the critical aspects of IoT design is getting products to market, right? So... How does Particle stack up against other options like DYI or off-the-shelf IoT designs? You know, the most common thing that folks are going to compare Particle to is building the stuff in-house. There aren't really other companies who take the approach that we do of trying to provide the whole tech stack at once. And so in practice, that means that you are going to build a lot of stuff on your own. You might find some companies who do bits and pieces of, of the puzzle. You know, the advantage of building it on your own is in principle having a certain degree of control over that infrastructure. But I think in practice, most folks find the infrastructure is really something that it's not something that differentiates one product from the next. It's just kind of the, the work you have to do. There's a term we've borrowed from Amazon Web Services of undifferentiated heavy lifting. The idea that there's a lot of work that is just work you got to do. And so we really think about it as trying to eliminate all that undifferentiated heavy lifting and take away a lot of the complexity that folks would face if they were trying to build it on their own. On the other hand, for some customers, the alternative might be off-the-shelf products where there's some existing IoT product that does the thing they needed to do. Maybe they're trying to track the location of something and so they could use like an off-the-shelf asset tracker. If those products work well for you, that's great. I would say if any one company is a perfect fit for an off-the-shelf product, they should just use the off-the-shelf product. 
But what tends to happen is the off the shelf products aren't exactly what you need. You know, maybe you're trying to monitor like a generator that's on a construction site. And so, yes, you want to be able to track its location, but you also want to be able to monitor the performance of the generator. And that's not something where you can find an off the shelf product. So it ends up being a question for customers of how close of an approximation are the off the shelf products. And if they're not close enough, then you have to build your own product. And I think Particle is is attempting to be the sweet spot where you get something that is maybe not quite as simple as buying an off-the-shelf product, but at least is approaching that level of simplicity where you can get something that's fully custom without doing all of the work necessary to start from scratch. Fantastic. Now, you guys also have a variety of system on modules. And you just launched the MSOM, right? So tell me more about this device and the benefits that this brings to the table. Yeah. So one of the ways we make things easy for our customers is we deliver our software platform onto embedded modules they can design into their product. So you take one of our system on modules and it goes into your circuit board. We also have development kits that are useful for prototyping before you get to that point. And up until recently, we had a cellular version and a Wi-Fi version. And that worked pretty well because there are a lot of applications where it's out in the world somewhere, you need a cellular network. There's other places where it's in a home. And so you can use the Wi-Fi network. But we saw a lot of customers who were kind of stuck in between where in some cases they wanted to use cellular and in other cases they wanted to use Wi-Fi. And what we realized was, you know, the whole radio problem, the reality is people shouldn't be spending time thinking about radios. They have to because that's what's necessary to get these things to work. But we wanted to try to figure out how do we make a product that just works everywhere. And so we decided to build the Muon as the development board and then the MSOM as the system on module, which includes a cellular connection, a Wi-Fi connection, a satellite NTN satellite connection, and LoRaWAN, as well as Bluetooth and Ethernet. So if, if we're going to be comprehensive, it's got six different ways to connect. And our goal with that was really to say, it doesn't matter where this product is going to get deployed, it will be able to connect in some way. If it's in an area where there's a cellular network, it can use that. If it's in a home or an office and there's a Wi-Fi network, it can use that. If it's out in a, you know, a very distant remote location where even the cellular networks don't go, it can use satellite. And if it's in a basement or another environment that's kind of hard to reach with any of those radios, then you can use LoRaWAN. Our goal is to say, this is something that you can connect anywhere. So you guys have a new campaign on Kickstarter too. So tell me more about that. Yeah, so the product is called the Tachyon. Particle's history has been in microcontrollers and sort of lower cost, lower complexity embedded systems. But if you look at the way our products have developed over time, we were previously on our fourth generation of products and the microcontrollers keep getting more and more powerful. So these days we can do things like we can handle basic media, we can do ML models on these sort of higher end microcontrollers. But we're starting to get to a point where it was pretty clear the next step for us was going to be into microprocessors and more and more powerful systems. And as we looked at that space, we thought, well, where is there opportunity for us to you know, create some kind of a unique value? And we saw that there's been so much development recently in AI accelerators and applying the ability to run much more powerful models on devices. And that's something a lot of folks are interested in exploring and trying to figure out how they can use that for computer vision or audio classification. And so we decided to take the leap into more powerful systems with a focus on these AI accelerated products. So the Tachyon is a single board computer, same form factor as a Raspberry Pi, so a credit card size computer with a 5G connection and an octa-core processor, an AI accelerator, and basically like a very beefy system kind of comparable to a modern smartphone. And so that makes it possible for people to get that same kind of easy to use, works out of the box development experience with a cloud connection and connectivity built in but also do so with a system that is really, really powerful. It can handle pretty much anything that you could throw at it. So you guys also offer professional and design services. So tell me more about that as well. We try to make our platform as easy enough to use that folks can build these products on their own. And a lot of our customers do. Our goal is you need one or two engineers. So maybe you need somebody who's you know an embedded engineer to write the software application that's going to run the device. And then you need somebody who does like mobile and web development so they can write the UX, the application that the end users can interact with. But a lot of folks don't have those engineering capabilities in-house, right? There's plenty of companies who do this kind of product development by outsourcing it. And so we have built out an ecosystem of design services partners. So if somebody comes to us and says, I want to build an IoT product, I don't have a team of engineers to build it. And so I'd like some help. What we do is we have a service we provide where we kind of matchmake between 
customers who need that kind of help. And then 35 different design and engineering services companies who are all there in different geographies, they have different skill sets. And so we try to match people up with their best fit so that they can get the help they need to do the implementation and, and get the product working. Fantastic. Now, if my audience wants to get started using your solutions, where should they start? One of the best parts of our product is we have really, really easy to use development kits. So if you go to our store, store store.particle.io, you can buy development kits for building Wi-Fi connected products, cellular connected products, multi-radio products. And now you can pre-order the Tachyon for high-end 5G connected products. And they're all up on our store. You know, they're as cheap as less than $20. And you buy one of those things, you plug it in, you're up and running in minutes, and then you can go from there. I love it. Okay, Zach, it is time for your off-the-cuff question. So if you could have one meal right now, it doesn't matter if it's on the other side of the world, you need a passport to get there, what would you have? I think I would be having soba noodles in Japan. Nice. Because you know what? I love sushi. And if you were asking me what I would be eating right now that did not require getting on a plane, it would probably be sushi. But I've yet to find really good soba noodles in the U.S. Uh, and so that feels like something you got to go to Tokyo for. So that would be my meal. Good choice. Well, Zach, this was super cool. Thank you so much for joining me. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. If you want even more information about Particle, including details of their new Kickstarter campaign called Tassion, which is a powerful 5G Snapdragon-powered credit card-sized computer with AI accelerator that can embed intelligence into anything, anywhere. And folks, I have to tell you, this Kickstarter campaign is super cool. You will definitely want to check it out. Hey, have you checked out EE Journal on social media yet? Well, you should. You can find us at facebook.com slash EE Journal. If you're into X, you can monitor our tweets at EE Journal TFM. And don't forget, if you would like to follow my personal account, check out Amelia D 1978. And hey, if LinkedIn is more your thing, I dig it. You can follow us or me on LinkedIn as well. And we are now on Blue Sky Social and Mastodon too. And we have a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash eejournal. It is chock full of all kinds of techie videos, including our very popular Chalk Talk webcast series and our brand new animated series called Libby's Lab. And, of course, you can subscribe to our EE Journal YouTube channel as well. Also, make sure that you subscribe to this here podcast on Spotify, Podbean, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, or just about any other podcasting platform to listen to some exciting upcoming episodes. And yes, folks, today is, in fact, my birthday. So, in honor of my birthday, please go do something nice for someone. It doesn't have to be someone you know. It could be a total stranger. Just spread a little cheer into the world for good old Amelia. (laughs) Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. If you know of any cool new technology or heck you just want to chat, shoot me a line at Amelia. That's A-M-E-L-I-A at eejournal.com. Or post a comment on our forums on EE Journal. For the week of August 9th, 2024, I'm Amelia Dalton, and you've been fried. <laughs>